Enemies are faster, tougher, and more dangerous from the start. Challenges will push Batman to the limits. This should only be attempted by players who are experts at Batman Arkham Origins or the very brave. You for all you also forgot insane. Um, you know, Perf, you should write those stories down and send them into Fraser. Uh, his email is kingofthecities at gmail.com. Commissioner low before it's too late. Yes, but first I need to figure out how to walk. Uh, character profile. Black Mask, real name Roman Saunus. Occupation Crime Lord, Gotham City, Brown, Brown, six foot one, hundred and ninety-five pounds. Was the largest organized crime in Gotham City. Members of his organization wore black masks to conceal their identities. Most members are also employees of Sionis legitimate businesses. He makes extensive use of torture techniques to satisfy his sadistic appetites. Roman Sionis is one of Gotham's most powerful crime wards, though thus far he has managed to avoid conviction. He maintains several legitimate businesses, though many are believed to be fronts for illegal operations. Notable businesses in his portfolio include Janus Cosmetics, Gotham Mechanic, or Gotham Merchants Bank and now defunct Sionis Steelworker. Uh, Sionis has been charged with embezzling city funds, murder, racketeering, distribution of illegal narcotics, and other offenses, but never convicted. Witnesses for other prosecutions have been known to recant, die, or disappear. He owns half the police officers in Gotham, along with several judges and the city councilors. Those he can't buy, he intimidates with torture or eliminates. Fantastic. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we're already 6% done with the profile. That, that was quick. Is that what she said? Uh, right trigger to crouch. She said he'd leave my family alone if I hope The thing is, you ain't gonna live to find out. Black mask can't leave no loose ends, my friend. What are you waiting for? If you're gonna do it, get it over. Hey, it's not every day. No! Please! Not again! Oh, oh I'll Ooh. kill you, all right. But by the time I do, that eye won't be the only thing you're missing. What is that? Behind you! Oh, come on, it's 
expect me to fall for that? I mean, try something original. <laughs> Back off! Okay, so I'm guessing this is the point Batman has really made his appearance. No! no stay away! Me. Go away! Don't hurt me! Oh. Oh. I heard the rumors, but... You... You're, you're not supposed to be real! Who tore this place apart? I don't know what it is, it's huge! Where is Black Mask? I... I don't know. He's here for Commissioner Lowe. Maybe one of his men knows where he's headed. Yeah, I, I did enjoy, enjoy it. Uh, the last DLC was actually more challenging this than the rest of the game. James Gordon with the GCPD. This is an emergency situation. And I am... Okay... Gilead B. Liab. Loeb. Loeb? Occupation GCPD Commissioner Gotham City Brown Gray, 5'7, 210 pounds. Slick, deeply corrupt police commissioner. Politically untouchable, alleged to have connections to Gotham's major crime families. As much politician as policeman, Gilliam Loeb? Lieb? I'll just call him Gilliam. Uh, is a blight on Gotham. He runs the city like a criminal kingpin, and the police under his commander usually his as his personal enforcers. He is particularly close with Lieutenant Brandon and his shoot first SWAT teams. Under Liab's watch, uh, the city has experienced relative peace between the various crime families. This peace that has allowed them to exploit and extort the citizens who live and work on their turf. As long as Liab remains in power, so too will the Kingpins. Fantastic. Okay, uh, Martin Joseph, Black Eight Prison Warden, Gotham City, dark brown, black, 5'11", 195 pounds, rumored to be more concerned with the politics of his office than his responsibilities, family man, no known associations with criminal elements, career prisoner, administrator. Though Joseph has a degree in criminology and spent a short time in police administration, he has never worked a beat or done time as a prison guard. He was hired because of his administrative abilities and tasked with finding ways to increase prison profitability. When he has experienced some degree of success, it has come at a cost. The number of inmates has ballooned while maintenance expenditures have been cut, causing the facility to fall into disrepair and disrepute. There are more and more guards on the payroll of Black Mask and the Penguin, and the prison has become a haven for criminals and criminal activity. It should be noted that Joseph himself does not appear to have any criminal ties. He is simply trying to do the job he was hired to do. Oh, Loeb. Okay. Uh, Real name Bruce Wayne, Vigilante, Gotham City, Blue Black, 6'2", 200 pounds. GCPD knows little about Batman. He was wanted for questioning. Criminal elements are beginning to realize Batman is a threat to them. Still widespread skepticism regarding his existence. Conflicting reports. Is he one man or many? From GCPD files, suspect is believed to be responsible for multiple assaults against both criminals and law enforcement officials. Identity of suspect currently unknown. Maybe a single individual or multiple individuals working together. Uh, conflicting reports of suspect psychology range from dark specter to large winged creature. Lack of photographic and forensic evidence make it difficult to confirm or refute these claims. First sighting reported nearly two years ago, though frequency has recently increased. Multiple reports of suspect employing custom-built armored vehicle and unlicensed low-flying aircraft. Warning. Considered armed and extremely dangerous, approach with extreme caution, multiple outstanding warrants. Additional. Immediately notify desk officer in vigilante task forces suspect is cited or evidence obtained. Bruce Wayne. Occupation. CEO Wayne Industries. Gotham City. Blue, black, six foot two, two hundred pounds. Billionaire heir to the billionaire heir to the Wayne Empire. Philanthropist, 
philanthropist and playboy. For all of his public prestige, he is a private man who rarely discusses personal topics. From GCPD files, Thomas and Martha Wayne were gunned down in an alley outside Von Ark Theater when Bruce Wayne was just a boy. He was raised in, by the Wayne family butler, Alfred Pennyworth, but disappeared in his late teens for several years. Upon his return to Gotham two years ago, the sole surviving Wayne made an impression on the city with his philanthropy, as well as his aggressive reluctance to discuss exactly where he was or what he was doing during his time away. All reports indicate Wayne Industries and Wayne himself are inscrutable, but someone with this much power and influence should be watched closely. Nah, he couldn't be. It, it, it's too obvious. It, it, it's too obvious. It's clearly somebody else. Uh, real name, Alfred Pennysworth, uh, butler, based in Gotham City, blue, gray, formerly black, 6 foot, 170 pounds. A uh, longtime butler of the Wayne family, legal guardian of Bruce Wayne in his youth, trusted friend and loyal companion. Alfred claims to have been an accomplished actor before he signed on with the Wayne family butler. But records hint at a history with military intelligence. Being an actor could have just been a cover, or acting could just be a very useful skill for an intelligence officer to have. For Alfred's part, he's not offering up details, but his extensive medical knowledge suggests he's more than a common... Uh, Thespian. Thespian. Thespian? Yeah. Alfred is still having trouble act accepting the reality of Bruce Wayne's double life and continues to push Bruce to give up his crusade for more mundane pursuits. <laughs> Alfred's a joker. Assuming command. Security personnel and GCPD officers, turn your radios... Uh, did I read that one? Okay, I guess I haven't read this one. Uh, Martin Joseph, Black Eight Prison Warden, Gotham City, dark brown, black, five foot eleven, hundred ninety-five pounds. Rumored to be more concerned with the politics of his office than his responsibilities. A family man, no known associations with criminal elements. Career prison administrator. Though Joseph has a degree in criminology and spent a short time in police administration, he has never worked a beat or done time as a prison guard. He was hired because of. Oh, I did read this one. Yeah. You're right. Channel 13 for further instructions. That is the one I got. what you call a left hook? Oh, crap. Yeah. Uh, you can't get worse than here, right? A bad time. Where the hell are you? Hey, these are black masks, men. I'll make them tell me where I can find black mask. <laughs> to make you talk. How much pain you endure before that is in your hands. Screw you! I don't have time for this. Okay, okay. He said it to the execution chamber. <laughs> With Loeb. Smart move. Now you get to take a nap. Hey, look at that. He's crazy. All inmates, you are not in any danger. You are not in any Oh. A drone. That doesn't belong here. Wonder who's controlling it.
only way to advance is to grapple up and over this gate. I should hurry. into this mess in the first place. He's wearing body armor. Knocking him off balance with my cable exposing to my attacks. Yeah, I already did that. Don't hurt me! Please! Attention inmates. Anyone who has seen the criminal Black Mask or his subordinates, please notify the nearest police or security officer. Black Mask... Vale, investigative journalist, Gotham City, blue, blonde, five foot seven, hundred twenty-one pounds. Young reporter seeking to make a name for herself, fixated on Bruce Wayne and telling his story. Vale's stories often attack corrupt officials head on. That is when she can get the stories by her editor. While a noble sentiment, the people she targets don't take too kindly to being thrust into the public eye. She could find herself in trouble if she's doesn't find a more subtle way to do her job. Still, it's admirable to see a journalist not afraid to expose the truth in a city defended by, defied by corruption and lies. Gotham needs more people like her. Please! We don't want any trouble! I'm just curious why she's in jail. of the floor is weak. I can use my explosive gel to break through. Commissioner's pockets, because they are lined with my money. And what have I got to show for? Huh? My own men in the slammer? No, I'm no more. No, tonight, we're making some changes. Some big changes. You're a dead man walking, love. You heard the man. Tonight's on night. That's right. He's going to kill Wolf tonight. Make a click. I didn't sign up for getting my ass kicked. Hey, what a jerk in our cells!
to depress both switches at around the same time to open that door. Stay in your cells. A police operation is in progress, and anyone outside of their cells may be considered a danger to the force. Okay, there we go. I get it. I get it. Function. Huh. And that's just too perfect to ignore. He could have only passed you. What's all this about, Sionis? Haven't I always come through for you? You may have, Lillian, but uh, things have changed. We're starting with a clean slate, and you're not on it. What are you talking about? I'm not on it. After all, I've done for you. Show's over, boys. I'm too late. Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer for. It's the best! We're never getting out of here! Experience table is definitely interesting. I told you to grab the memory card. You want it, smashed. So I smashed it. It better be, or the next thing that gets smashed will be your face. Yeah. card is damaged. I should be able to recover most of the data back at the Batcave. Yeah, who takes the two need stairs when you have them?
know I caught yours. going. thing is a bat
Are you back for the night, sir? Shall I warm up Christmas dinner? No. It's going to be a long night, Alfred. I just ran into a human-shaped crocodile. Mm -hmm. Told me Black Mask has hired assassins to kill me. Every time you level up, you learn. You earn an upgrade point. These points can be spent to unlock upgrades and improve Batman's skills, equipment. Upgrades are divided into three categories. Select a upgrade category. <coughs> oh. <laughs> uh, each, each upgrade category has its own upgrade tree. You must purchase early upgrades to gain access to later ones in the tree. Uh, the deeper you get in the tree, the more powerful the upgrades become. Select an upgrade to purchase. Uh, every time you level up, okay. Upgrade locked, combat armor, ballistic armor. Okay, we'll go with that, I guess. Assassin, sir, as in more than one. That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile man. His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. They're all hired killers, the best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson, Deathstroke, former military, subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, do you say? Garfield Lins, AKA Firefly, burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. Here's a face I don't recognize, Copperhead. Strange, these reports reference a male, not a female. 14 escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget, not What the? Okay, she's cute. Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot. Freeze. Says here he's an expert sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Baczynski. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. 
You're sure this is wise, sir? I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. Okay. You know what? Why not? That wing is prepped and ready to take you to Jezebel Plaza, sir. We got here. Are you even going in the right way? I'm not sure if I'm even going the right way to the challenge. Maybe I am. Wait, I can select Deathstroke? Is there a point to doing these, uh, Freezer? Just out of curiosity. If there's no real point, then I'll just skip it. I thought maybe it will offer experience or something. Sir, to make your travels easier, I went ahead and set up some auto-nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. Okay, on Gotham City, maps like Batwing drop point to fast travel location in the cities. Okay, so the ta- okay. Fun breaking glasses, enjoyable. here. I need to get up and out of danger. He can't shoot what he can't see. Attacking head-on is a good way to get myself shot, and probably the hostage, too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. That thing out there with you? Are you crazy? We were answering the service call. That's it? You better not be lying to me. Oh! Screw this. I quit. 
win. Okay. I guess I get down there. I can sneak up on the hostage taker by crawling through the vent. You piss him. Get yourself to safety and call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, I will. This was just supposed to be a service call. Fix the tower in and out. It means nothing to know where you are. Come near me, and I'll kill this guy. I ain't playing. You tell him. Sure, that'll help. I got the spot here. I can, I can fix the tower. Whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. Okay. I don't think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. And I should start by identifying the victim. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. Looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And um, here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And they... Hmm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. So you say I can Card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels. Oh, the one I crawl. 
Unfortunate. Yeah, that definitely was unfortunate. Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Well, well, if it isn't the King Thug himself... Ah, great. I figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. I was you wondering never if you were going to be a hero. Enigma, then. Oh, Shit. you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the Batwing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. Okay, so the question is, do I actually want to head to those... Relays. So there's nine criminals, apparently. Uh... Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh... I read her. Uh, unknown fugitive South America brown on venom green uh, brown seven foot five five hundred pounds plus. Supreme strength and agility combined with the mind of a master tactician seems dependent on a substance delivery system possible weakness. Bane is a fugitive wanted by the government of Santa Prisa followed a pris following a prison break from Pinodoro. While no records have been found to substantiate this, rumors allege Bane was born and raised within the prison walls, a seemingly impossible feat in all-male penitentiary. Bane is believed to be traveling with a large group of his fellow escapees, most notable of is his chief subordinate, Bird. Bane is rumored to have superior human size and strength, most believe this to be a result of his abuse of performance-enhancing drugs, including a popular narcotic, narcotic venom. Combined with a keen mind, this makes ben and Bane an extreme threat. Not gonna lie, she's cute. Uh, Copperhead. Nev I don't think I've actually seen her until now. Uh, real name unknown, contract killer, South America, yellow blonde. Uh, 5 foot 10, 145 pounds. Tattooing suggests Central American gang membership. Master escape artist. Abnormal psychology allows for unnatural con con contortions. Or physiology, sorry. Uh, maybe one of a larger group operating under the same name. Records indicate Copperhead is an alias used by hitmen working for Central and South American drug cartels. But this Copperhead is clearly female. This could indicate that the name Copperhead is actually a title or label for an underworld organization. Either way, Copperhead seems capable of escaping nearly all forms of confinement. Kill techniques range from strangulation and crushed bones to acute toxicity resulting in death. She was a dude in the comics? Huh. Uh, I'm doing this for Hellfreezer Geo. Th this is his Christmas gift. 
uh, real name, uh, Deadshot, Floyd Lawton, mercenary, mobile, uh, blue, brown, six foot one, 200 pounds, master marksman, formal, former military, specific background, redacted, reckless attitude suggests mental instability among the best sharpshooters in the world. Lawton was lethally lethal military sniper with long list of assassinations, but according to his records, he often takes unnecessary risks or makes his plans unnecessarily complex. Perhaps this is why he was discharged from service and took up mercenary work, though his military record is mostly redacted. His psychological profile suggests he harbors deep feelings of guilt regarding his accidental murder of his own brother. Uh, Deathstroke, real name Slade Wilson, mercenary based in Mobile, Blue, Gray, 6'5", 225 pounds, medically enhanced physically and mental abilities, master of multiple combat techniques, strategic mind, missing his right eye. I didn't know he was missing his right eye. Uh, Wilson was an accomplished member of the Special Forces. This distinction earned him admittance into a covert program where he was subjected to extensive mental and physical augmentation. The procedures left him with increased mental function as well as enhanced speed, strength, stamina. Though much of his file is redacted, it appears that Slade was eventually discharged from the military, though the exact circumstances are not specified. He has since taken up work as a mercenary, his augmentations coupled with the master of hand-to-hand -hand combat make him a formidable opponent. Possibly one of the most dangerous Batman has ever or will ever face. Fair enough. I, I mean, it, that it does have a lot of sense to it, now that it's pointed out. I figure... Eh. I figure the very least he just doesn't use it, or maybe there's some kind of flap, like pirates did, uh, when they were above ground, one eye would be covered, and then when they go below ground, they cover the other eye uh, to keep a light low vision and high uh low light vision and normal light vision kind of thing if that makes sense uh electric electrocutioner real name lester virchinsky a uh, pit fighter based in gotham city brown brown height six foot four 225 pounds street tough out of Street Tough, out to make a name for himself, has surprising skill in electrical engineering, big mouth. More Bronson brains this initial assessment of Brzezinski, but he has been able to create some kind of custom-made weaponized gloves that pack a powerful electrical discharge. Their craftsmanship suggests there is more going on between his ears than the sound of his own boasting, even though he may have had, const had help constructing them. Perhaps he even had them made by someone else. His arrogance and overconfidence are his weakness. Really? Okay, that part I didn't know. Again, the fact it's pointed out, it does make a lot of sense. Uh, Firefly, real name Garfield Lynn's occupation... Pyrotechnics expert, mobile, brown, none was brown, 5'11", 165 pounds, obsessive compulsive pyromaniac. Multiple instances of severe burns all over his body, utilizes custom made flamethrower, jetpack, and incendiary grenades. Uh, Linz has specialized knowledge of incendiary devices, yet often gets burned by the fires he's creating. What little is in his medical record suggests he does not seek treatment for the pain, it seems to invoke a pleasure response in him. This is a dangerous combination. His obsession with fire is driving him to take even larger risks. <clears throat> <coughs> larger risks. Um, and if he is not stopped, he's going to destroy himself and potentially much of the city with him. Okay. Yeah. I, I did not realize that. Okay, Killer Croc, Wayne Jones, career criminal, Gotham City, yellow, nun, 9'8", 850 plus pounds. Instinctual hunter with heightened senses, 
dynamic physiology appears continually changes. Medical records class Jones is suffering from a rare form of epidermolytic hyperkeratosis. It normally causes skin to scale, but there's more to Jones than that. It's true that his skin has grown dense enough to rep repel gunfire, but that doesn't explain the rest of the changes. His size, sense of smell, unexplained dental eruptions, and warped digits. The degree to which he has been afflicted is remarkable and suggests that there, this may actually be a form of atavism that simply resembles hyperkeratosis. It may be also be the result of internal genetic manipulation. Further study is required, regardless of their origin, his strength and ferocity make him immense physical threat. Shiva, unknown, assassin, unknown, brown, black, 5'7", 135 pounds, martial art, grandmaster, unmatched skill, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Why does she look familiar? Uh, police records are thin, but indications are that Shiva is highly trained and extremely dangerous assassin. Rumor is that she selects many of her targets simply to test her skills. There are no known survivors from these encounters. The threat she represents cannot be underestimated. Uh, calendar Man. Real name, Julian Gregory Day. Fugitive, Gotham City, Blue... None formerly brown, five foot nine, two fifteen. Obsessive compulsive psychotic. Convicted multiple murders and sentenced to die on Christmas Eve. Sentencing judge was Fearmont Harkness. Julian Day, aka Gotham's calendar killer, aka calendar man, was brought to justice thanks to Batman's diligence in apprehending the killer. Many were surprised by Judge Harkin's decision to give Day the death penalty despite the state labeling him criminally insane. Julian Day was set free just minutes before his scheduled execution on Christmas Eve during the break-in at Blackgate Prison that he saw Police Commissioner Leah or Loeb murdered. While it is unlikely Calendar Man was involved with the assassinations or the bounty, he remains a threat to the city, particularly given his obsession with dates and holidays. Fantastic. A synapsis. Okay, uh, there's that. Case files report. Okay. I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. Then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Oh, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. Jezebel Plaza before that arms deal. I'll have no way to locate the penguin. Okay. Enigma. Unknown professional criminal, Gotham City. Unknown, 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 unknown. Uh, incredible intelli intellect, but also highly insecure. Compulsive needs to prove his superiority, Master Hacker. Enigma seems able to defeat almost all forms of network security. Batman's own network is under threat of attack, and steps must be taken to ensure no future incursions. If he was able to access the back computer, there's no telling how much damage he could do. Fortunately, his insecurities cause him to act out. The more he draws attention on himself, the easier he becomes to track down and take out. I'm gonna have to get more trophies from him, aren't I? Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna need to get more trophies?
dispatch I just mentioned. I could go investigate, perhaps stop the crime. But I also need to get to the car deal at Jezebel Plaza. I thought I was almost dead. Uh, perform five counters. Huh, nice. I'm not really gonna worry myself about the challenges. D. You gave me a D? Really? I'm guessing you're just saying that you're back. Uh, in that case, welcome back. Okay, so fire hurts. Got it. To the pipes? the data drive. Looks like it's part of a larger set. If I can collect enough of these, I should be able to read the file. What's up, Mags? More water? Okay, let's just keep going. Just keep going. At least I have the grapnel boost, so there's that. This is a long bridge. I should use my grapnel accelerator. Yeah, I'm already doing that. Wait. Trophy, I think. Out. 
Panzer und I gotta do in the right course. Like there's four of them. One, two, three, four, with the fifth one leading up there. I'm assuming I can solve this right now. Okay, so what happens if I get off? Okay, hang on. Oh, I, I think I see. Okay, so left. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, got it. Try to keep a low profile tonight, sir. Trust me, I'll take out those assassins before they even know I'm there. It's not just that. If some curious child looks at to see who's pattering across their rooftop, they'll expect Santa Claus, not a black clad bat creature. I don't. Matter. Make your move. So that, I need to power on. I don't think I can do anything with that just yet. Not yet. Okay. Uh, actually, no. No, 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 no. Um, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. Because if I'm right... 
I got a B. Very good. I think that level me. Did that level me? No. I'm close though. I'm like, eh, almost there. Trouble, John. Bring up, level up. Uh, or combat armor. I need any unassigned unit for special assignment. Stand by. before that arms deal. No way to locate the paper. Let's get in there. Kick his teeth in. Seriously? Then again, that might not be a pressure plate, but it might be. Whatever these relays are protecting, it can't be good. I should destroy any more I come across. Oh, it was just a relay. Never mind. Here. I need to find a spot where I can stake this place out unnoticed. Penguin. 
Not a dime changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys! <laughs> so, little boys, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, wait. I already know. Guns. Now, let's see if you've been naughty or... Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Nice. Punk in the Santa hat must be in charge. Where's the rest of them? Whoa, oh, easy tiger. When you deal with us, you deal with the penguins. It's a fly-by-night operation. But damn, I didn't come all the way down here for just one gun. What the crap? <laughs> Penguin. I don't know. Where is he? I swear. Damn. Wake up. on my comm systems. Is that on your side? No, sir. I'm seeing it as well. It's from the nearby GCR tower. It's the same signal jamming the Batwing's auto nerf systems. I've highlighted the tower on your map. I'll need to stop that signal before I can track down the penguin. Restart the game. Chigar here. I'd like to thank you for joining me. And at the corner of the screen, you can see Bella. She is pretending to ignore me because I'm not giving her anything. I'm, I'm a little messy over here. Sorry about that. It was my dinner and breakfast and dinner again. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that being said, uh, not not too much in the way of announcements. I hope you're all having a great day. Hope you're all taking care of yourself. I'll try and find a way to get this cleaned up later. And until then, this is Shigar signing off. I will see you all later.
um, we will be working on probably this game for the next couple, next week, I think. It This is a very quick game, so it shouldn't take that much to go through, especially if I'm chopping it in two-hour intervals. Um, I think after that, as I was saying, was near Automata. And then we basically get caught back up to where I was uh, before we started going on to this. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll have a great day. I will see you all later, and goodbye for now.